Our skeleton supports our muscles, ligaments and nerves. It also protects our organs, but it is much more than just a scaffold. It is a living organ that is very dynamic. It is designed to absorb impact and can flex and stretch as we move. It grows with us, changing and adapting in response to various situations such as during times of different nutritional needs or after an injury where bones may need to repair and it also decays with us. We could better understand the impact of our bones on our health and well-being if we could get deep inside a bone and see the rigid structure that gives bones their shape and to watch the microscopic changes that happen in response to various situations. Inside our bones, you would see a dynamic and crowded space, packed with many different types of cells, each with an individual role, but working together to keep you healthy. Some cells here in the bone marrow mature, divide and enter the blood circulation to become red blood cells. Others mature from stem cells to become part of the immune system. You can see that the bone structure itself is made up of a calcium rich matrix. This is made up of collagen and minerals and the cells that form part of the bone matrix are called osteocytes. On the surface of the bone you can see two main types of cells that constantly work together in a delicate balance to remodel and repair bone. Here you can see the osteoclasts breaking down bone. These cells work together with osteoblasts that can be seen here building new bone. Our bones are at their strongest at about 30 years of age. After this time, you can preserve as much bone strength as possible with appropriate weight-bearing exercise and adequate calcium and vitamin D. Osteoporosis is a condition that causes bones to become weak and lose their strength, making them break more easily. Over 1.2 million Australians have osteoporosis. There are some medications that can help manage osteoporosis that help to slow down bone loss and the type of medication chosen by your doctor depends on factors such as your age, gender and risk of fracture. Bisphosphonates are one of the most commonly used medications for osteoporosis. These are medicines that bind to the bone matrix and inhibit osteoclasts, the cells that break down bone. Osteoclasts rely on specific molecules to mature and survive. These activating molecules are called rank ligand, shown here as pink particles. Denosumab is a medication that works by binding to these specific molecules, which inhibits the survival of osteoclast cells and slows down bone loss. But if a dose of denosumab is skipped or delayed, the osteoclasts become active again and break down bone at a higher rate, leading to weaker bones and increasing the risk of fracture. It is vital that you don't skip or delay your denosumab treatment and stay in contact with your pharmacist and doctor about your treatment schedule. Researchers are working hard to find ways to reverse the biological bone clock and to prevent and treat excess bone decay. However, it is still a major health concern and the message is clear. Preserve your bone health with vitamin D and sunlight, calcium and weight-bearing exercise to give your bones their best chance for a long and strong life.